since my retirement, I've uh, spent some time working in Vietnam. I'm working on a project uh, that's evaluating the reforms in health care that have been funded by Atlantic Philanthropies. And Atlantic has a, I think it has a model where it works with the provincial governments to uh, upgrade the competent health centers and train doctors and make other uh, improvements in the healthcare system. Uh, they think they have a model that is exportable to other third world countries. And so my work there has been to help study whether indeed these uh, changes have have been successful, have, have they improved the health of the, of the country, have they um, in particular helped the elderly and uh, minority ethnic groups um, and the poor to achieve better health. Uh, so the ideas I have about health care um, the comparisons between the United States, where I'm from, and Vietnam are all in favor of the United States, though um, surely our system is far from good. What I have observed, though, which I wish the U.S. culture embodied more, is a sense of community um, that, that I've noticed in Vietnam that is missing in the U.S. And in particular, I mean, there are several holidays. Um, in particular Tet, uh, New Year's, but also um, the uh, Spring Festival and uh, perhaps presumably several others that I'm not familiar with, where basically the country stops. Uh, people are left, let off from work for days or sometimes weeks at a time. Um, Everyone travels, everyone who has moved away from their family travels back to their family. Uh, and although there's a, uh, an enormous push and confusion before such occasions uh, to get things done before the holiday begins and an enormous backlog to go back to once the holiday is over, the idea that everything stops this way and that people have time to be with each other, uh, to be with their extended families, strikes me as something that we in our busy lives in America have lost, uh, lost track of. Uh, I get to see my grandchildren for a few hours uh, every couple of months. There's no ex chance of extended time together because they're busy, and I am fairly busy, but they're very busy, and their parents are very busy. Uh, it would be wonderful if once or twice a year, everything would stop and I would be free to be with them. Um, I, I don't know how such an idea could translate into uh, busy Western cultures, uh, but if it could, I think it would improve quality of life and perhaps even longevity.